Welcome back, YouTube. This is the Inferno Tuber come back at you all once again. With the chill video on what Vault Hunter to decide. Whether or not you're starting a new character or are you starting for the first time, this is definitely the video for you as it will explain what all four characters do, how they work differently, and uh, which character is right for you. So we're going to get on into it. We're going to start with the Siren Amala. And to get some information from PC Games, just going to read you a little excerpt from each character from them and explain it on my own. Taking the torch from Maya and Lilith, Amara is the new playable siren in Borderlands 3. Amara possesses phasing abilities, focusing on elemental damage and powerful blows. Unlike Maya, Amara's skill trees are geared towards high damage attacks. Amara is a very good elemental player. If you love using elemental damage, um, fire, corrosion, shock, cryo, radiation, this is definitely the build for you. Mainly, it's going to be... Uh, incendiary, fire, shock, and corrosive. Not so much radiation and cryo, but those can still be damaged um, very well with the elemental projectors that are in the game. Amara is definitely built for elemental builds, and there is also a phase slam build, which does insane 300% more damage. On to the next character, we have the Beastmaster Flak. Borderlands 3 Beastmaster Flak is essentially a giant robot who can summon mechanical allies in battle. Flak's versatile skill tree revolves around his robotic pals and their ability to send elemental wave attacks or buff Flak's current stats. As you transport irradiated pets through rifts or become momentarily invisible to enemies to regenerate health, your team will hopefully give you less Flak. Uh -huh. Well, Flak's main abilities, um, you can go invisible if you're one of the more stealthy players. If you did use zero, in Borderlands 2, uh, Flak is definitely an option for you. Um, he does have crit builds, uh, which literally, he's very good for bossing. Uh, he's very good for one-shotting bosses once you get to the end game, but he's not too good on survivability. He's not too good on mobbing, but his one-shot bosses are insane. His pets are really underrated as well. They were really bad in the beginning, but as you get on in the game, if you do go into the pet tree, you can always respect, but there are ways to make your pet do actual damage. The next character is Moe's, the gunner. She summons her Iron Bear battle suit to shield herself while unleashing a salvo of death on her enemies. Similar to the Gunzerker, who is Salvador in Borderlands 2, Moe is all about close combat and explosive high impact damage. She is a gunner that specializes in mechanical combat and is able to call upon her giant mech, Iron Bear. Her skill tree allows her to equip a range of weapons to the beastly battle suit, including high velocity railguns and rapid firing miniguns. She is a gunner, after all. Moe's skill trees encourage a relentlessly attacking approach, but she also has a shield based tree if you prefer a more defensive play style. Um, Moses' survivability is pretty decent if you go down the shield-based uh, tree. Um, there are definite, definite ways to do some major damage on Moe's uh, if you get the right artifacts, the right Ella, um, right artifacts, the right class mods, right shields and, and grenades. Um, guns are insane. There's a Lucky 7 build you can do. Amara, or sorry, not Amara. The gun or Moe's just melts everything. So there are ways to make the gunner a good character you just have to find them i would recommend playing on the gunner if you played as salvador in borderlands 2 uh definitely the up close and combat of, uh combat play style and the last but not least is zane the operative now this is a little bit different he has you can use two of his action skills at the same time flak moles and uh amara you can only use one and there are three trees. Uh, the operative Zane, instead of using a grenade, you can actually put in another action skill. So that is insane. He's very good with the redistributor and he can melt everything. Uh, right now, he is the best uh, end game player, but depending on your playstyle, you might not want to be Zane the operative. And the game's always updating. You know, when the game first came out, it was. It was Flak and Moe's that were broken. Now it's Amara and Zane. You know, it's always changing, so you definitely want to get with your play style because you never know when that buff or nerf is going to happen. No Borderlands 3 class would be complete without the Silent Assassin Zane. This swap operative focuses on critical hit damage and precision. Zane's skilled trees look impressive and will have a hard time deciding how to progress them. So far, each of Zane's skilled trees offer radically different styles of play. 
including a skill tree with an emphasis on health regeneration and protecting the rest of the team, and a damage heavy one with a deployable drone. Now there you go. Now you have two different skill trees, but wait, he can have two skill trees. That's why he is so broken. But by far the most enticing skill tree is the deployable double agent that distracts and fires at enemies. With the similarities to zero, we think you have to be a dab hands at a sniper to get the most out of these operative and rapid reflexes. Um, yeah, if you played a zero, you definitely want to go with Zane. But at the same time, if you played a zero's in Viz Tree, you want to go as Beastmaster. Originally, I played a zero in Borderlands 2, so I would love to be the Beastmaster, you know. But after his nerfs, you know, he's great for critting, and crit building. So here we go. Now it's my turn to just tell you what I think of each character. Now this is basically my opinion, so definitely don't take this the wrong way. If you are one of the characters I don't like, and uh, I like all four. But, here we go. We got the Operative. I think he's insane. I personally love the redistributor that you get from Wotan, which is the Malawan takedown boss. Um, I think he's insane. He can do chain lightning stuff with the... He can basically be invincible with his barrier. And then he's got the drone that can go out and shoot enemies too. I think it's just ridiculous that he can do two action skills at the same time. Same time. I think he's insane. I love the character. I'm definitely going to make him. I'm definitely going to get him level 53. I'm definitely going to use him. Right now, my main is Amara, uh, the Siren. She unleashed her elemental Siren powers. I think the Phase Grass build I have is insane. Uh, I am using Amara right now. I played her for two days, three hours, and four minutes. And I also have a Flak. Um, I think this is ridiculous. I think she's insane. I think there is a mob build she can do that's great for co-op. If you're only going to play Borderlands 3 in two players or more, definitely go with Amara because she has a redundant brainstormer build that's great for mobbing. As long as your other character is meant for bossing, like the Beastmaster, you could be insane with your with your mobbing ability. Um, I played as Black in the beginning of the game. And I thought, you know, I love the pets. I want to be with the pets. And the pets weren't good. The pets sucked. I did a crit build, that's all I did, uh, with, with King's Call, Queen's Call, King's Call, and they nerfed that. I, I think he's been getting screwed, I think he needs a buff. Uh, he does have some serious, like, wedding invitation with that new sniper that came out. Well, new now, but it might not be new in the future. Um, that's insane, that's one-shotting, but mobbing and his survivability is, is, is terrible. And Moe's. Moe's is underrated and overrated at the same time, I mean... If you go down the right trees and do the right stuff, my friend Cole, I always play with him, he uses Moe's. He can be invincible. He can use a stopgap and be invincible, and he can be lucky to have him melt everything. But that gets old. You know, you don't want to use one gun because he can't switch guns, and if he goes down, he has to re-roll Lucky 7 until he gets the right roll. And that takes time. That takes energy, and it gets annoying if you don't get your right roll after a while, you know. And I got to say, the gunner is awesome. I want to be the gunner, but... At the same time, right now, the Siren and the Operative are overpowered. I like the Gunner. I'm going to make a Gunner, and I'm going to use the Gunner. But I'm, there's no way that I'm going to choose her over Amara or, or Zane. I really want to make a Zane. I think he's awesome. I think he's the best right now. If I got to go all four down, I think overall... Now, here's the most important part. If you listen to any part of this video, this is what you got to listen to here. Overall, with mobbing and bossing all together... I take first place is Zane, second place is Amara, third place is Moe's, and last is the Beastmaster. Now if you're going pure mobbing, if you are doing the one mob build that I have for Amara that I'll upload onto YouTube, definitely Amara's first, Zane's second, uh, Moe's is third, and Black once again is last. Now if you are going basically, basically crit building, uh, just totally melding everything, definitely Flak 1. I'd say Gunner 2, Siren 3, and the rest are all even, they're all tied for a second, but, but he's bomb for bossing because you can do a, a severe crit build i think zane's a little bit better than these two but uh i do say the gunner is is definitely underrated though um definitely if you want a lot of survivability go with the gunner but at the same time zane's got a barrier so zane basically outmatches all these in every single category except for the crit build which is all flack here so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like comment and or subscribe if you have any more detailed questions make sure to ask me i am going to play all four of these characters i am going to make all four character builds I am going to get into Borderlands 3 videos, but I need your help. If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments section down below. I will respond. Thank you all for watching. This is the InfernoTuber signing off, and I hope this helped.